I'm in the state of Georgia to find reptiles and amphibians that are living in this swamp. Many animals choose to live in these swamps because of the constant water supply, shelter, and nesting opportunities. My primary objective is to find some new species I didn't find yesterday. I just woke up and there's a southeastern five-line skink sitting on my porch. The female lizards will lay their eggs in soil or logs and stick with them until they hatch. Overall, the skink was a good sign at fighting some more reptiles even in the heat of the day. After arriving at the swamp, I found the very first reptile. This is a gopher tortoise. It's considered to be a vulnerable and important species as the burrows it digs shelter over 350 other species of animals. If you do find a tortoise in the wild, do not pick it up because it might urinate, and that's bad. Not just because of the smell, but tortoises rely on their water stored in their body, so picking one up could lead as far as to death. I began the rest of the day by kayaking in the heart of the swamp. Immediately after having kayaked for a little bit, Alligators were becoming a common sight. Adult gators and juvenile gators were all swimming on the surface of the water, possibly to avoid the heat. The species eats anything it can fit in its mouth. That means turtles, snakes, birds, raccoons, and more. With the alligators came a few turtles and this tiny frog. The frog in question is a southern cricket frog. They have a thick stripe running down their back and have very bumpy skin. They vary in color and can be found in all sorts of moist habitat. Sadly, like a lot of the other native species, this frog is declining in numbers. Leaving the kayak behind, I continued to go hiking on a boardwalk trail. On the trail, I found this American alligator, what was probably a Florida cooter, and this pine woods tree frog. These amphibians can be distinguished by their call and the orange on the rear of their legs. It mainly falls to predation from larger animals like snakes. Oftentimes, they adopt a browner coloration. Continuing on the boardwalk, I also saw another southern cricket frog, this time with a stark brown coloration. The sun was starting to dimmer, but I still managed to find two more cool lizards. The first being a new species of lizard I haven't seen yet. This is a five-line skink. It is different than the species in the morning because it likes moister habitat. This one seemed to have lost and regained its tail since there seems to be a mark at the beginning of the tail. I also managed to find a green anole eating what was probably a dragonfly. Finally, after having ended the day, I had found a good amount of species, so I'll probably pick up this Georgia series in the next video.